Welcome to Fab TV. Look at Hollywood's latest. See all the red carpets dressed to a T. Yeah, you know me. It's all free. Well, hello, Milo. I thank you. I love your hair. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. How are you? I'm overwhelmed. I'm speechless. I wish I had the words. Um, this is an incredible event, and I never thought that zombies would make it here, but here we are. So tell me, what have you been up to? What, what, what have you been doing? Luckily, I've been booked and busy this year. I've been, I shot a movie at the beginning of the year called Prom Pact on Disney Plus. Watch it. I'm on Doogie Kame Aloha season two on uh, Disney Plus. You gotta watch it. Both of those I'm shooting with uh, Peyton Elizabeth Lee, who's here and is an amazing person. Um, and uh, yeah, no, and now I'm here and I'm just thinking about tonight, tonight, and that's it. Yeah. And what do you think would uh, surprise people the most about Peyton? Because obviously you've worked really closely w with her. What would surprise people? I'm not sure if this is generally surprising. I didn't know her too well, so I was surprised at her level of professionalism. I mean, she is an incredible person to work with. She uh, makes the set a much better place. She, she calms my nerves. Um, but she is so mature for her age. I thought working with somebody a little younger than me it would be different. But, uh, you know, we're, we're so similar in so many ways, and she, I admire her as an actress. And yeah. Tell me about this film. What's it all about? What can we expect? All right, well, the biggest thing is just the underlying uh, theme of acceptance and, um, you know, coming together. And obviously, conflict is important because that leads to conversation, which leads to growth. Um, but I also just, this movie is bigger and be better than the other two in every way. Um, and it's just elevated. I mean, all the uh, the fans are much older now. So I feel like we did a good job of tailoring to that. To that. I mean, the fact that they're all older now, it's just more grown. And we're really seeing a difference with Disney, really making a difference, showing people of all different, you know, shapes, sizes, ethnicities, genders. Yeah. What do you think, how do you how feel? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. How does it feel to know that the world's about to see Zombies 3? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm, I don't even know what to feel, yeah. <laughs> so tell me about your character. What can we expect? Yeah, so this movie opens up. She already got accepted into college. She's afraid that Zed is not going to be going to college with her, so they're kind of fingers crossed. Um, and then when the aliens come, crazy, uh, that kind of shakes things up for her and um, starts a whole new chapter for her. Ooh. Yeah. And what was your favorite part about filming? Do you have any fun stories from on set? Oh, man. I think my favorite week was uh, night shoot week where we did like the number alien invasion, a bunch of night scenes in zombie sound. It looked so beautiful, lit up at night. But we were just so delirious that like any kind of front we had on was just our guards were just down. So we really got to know each other really fast. And I, I think because of that, we got even closer as a family. I didn't even think that was possible. But yeah, it's pretty special to be around this many people your age yes. working. It's almost yes. like school camp. I always say it's like summer camp. We go away to a place for three months and then we come back and we have these amazing connections. It's like, it's awesome. It's great. And what cast member surprised you the most after getting to know them really well? Wow, uh, I don't know. Um, I think Kira, who plays Ali in the movie, her performance was unreal. Not that I didn't expect it at all, but you know, the three aliens were new, so I didn't know what to expect. And she kills it. She's so funny, so amazing. So yeah, I love her. She's great. And what else have you been working on aside from zombies and, and aliens? Yeah, um, so I am going to New Orleans in a couple months to work on the Winchesters, which is like a prequel to Supernatural. Um, so that'll be fun, and on music. So hopefully, uh, uh, some music will be coming out soon. Awesome. Yeah. And are you writing the music yourself? Are you working with writers? Yes, yes, I'm writing the music myself and working with awesome people. So yeah, I'm really excited. Hopefully, it'll come out soon. And tell me about your creative process. How do you get into the zone to write, you know, songs? Yeah, you know, I love to just like go into my room or a space for a couple hours and just like write down everything that I'm feeling and usually stuff comes out of that, you know, your deepest, darkest thoughts, so yeah. And how does that feel knowing that your deepest, darkest thoughts, now people are going to know, but it's through a song. So. I know, yeah, like the goal is like, I mean, it's definitely very vulnerable, but if people can relate to it in any way, like that's just like means the world to me, so. Yeah. And just before we do go, what is it that you hope that people do get from the film when they watch? Man, I mean, I think... Like the main like theme in this movie, especially in the third one, is acceptance and um, that you know being different is okay and change isn't going to happen unless you have conversations about it. That's like what we're really trying to push. So um, yeah, I really hope people take that away and I think it's so true. That's pretty incredible. I mean, to be entertained and then to also push that message forward. I mean, it's like the perfect combo. It's so surreal. Yeah.